let me introduce the cheapest and coolest brushless quadcopter. Hello, I'm Paul Archer from dronesbuyer.com and I'm happy to introduce the new Box 3 from MJX. The first impression is a great one, as the drone looks professional and well built. The lights are also bright and it features a very powerful LED in front, which would make it an amazing cave explorer. You could say this is a multi-purpose drone for a great price, which is a combination that cannot be simply ignored. As a spoiler for what comes next, let me tell you that it can be used both as an FPV quadcopter and as an entry-level camera drone. It comes well assembled in the package with everything safely put in a polystyrene container with all the basic accessories included and the ready-to-fly drone. The frame itself has included great landing gear terminals, but the package also contains a pair of four extended landing legs that can be mounted on the drone, so there's enough space for the camera mount in case you want to use it. The package contains other things like a pair of four spare props, a screwdriver and prop guard and many others, but if you want to see the full unboxing, please click the link on the screen right now. It will open up in a new tab. The main feature of this drone that differs compared to other similarly cheap ones is the brushless motors. Brushless motors are more expensive than regular brushed ones, but they are way more efficient, reliable and powerful than their counterparts. They can be up to 6 times more powerful, so by adding them to the Box 3, MJX just created a more mean machine. It really bugs me how come a drone this cheap comes in such high quality. The combination between the 1800kV motors and the 19cm propellers make for a very balanced build with enough power to handle quite some weight or fly fast enough if you're looking for the thrills. As mentioned before, there are two main modes this quadcopter can be used in, and therefore it comes with two different flying settings, a faster sport mode and a camera mode where it flies a little more chill, so to say. The nighttime flight is very entertaining as the lights are easy to see and bright enough to make it look like an alien UFO. As it can also do automatic flips by the press of a button, these are way easier to do than manual ones, yet still, they are pretty fun and tight enough to look impressive. It can even do flips and barrel rolls with the camera on, although I wouldn't recommend doing that if it's a more expensive GoPro, or if you're not Dan Bilzerian. Thanks to the power of brushless motors, this quadcopter can easily carry a GoPro Hero 3 or Hero 4. I'm not sure about Hero 5 as it's a little bit bigger, and many other like the SJ4000, the Xiaomi and so on. When it comes to video quality outside of what the camera can handle, we have to consider video stability and gimbal. Unfortunately, it does not have a gimbal but nobody would have expected it anyway at this price range. It comes instead with a camera mount that's pretty sturdy and does surprisingly well. There's not much jelly and I must say I got some really great shots for something that isn't mechanically stabilized while flying. Even so, you can stabilize the video in post-processing, add some background music and the result should be something like this. Also, keep in mind that my camera is pretty low quality. On the package you can find a list with other accessories that you can buy for this drone, ranging from FPV and action cameras to a pair of FPV goggles. Attaching the optional 5.8GHz FPV camera module to the drone and getting a 5.8GHz FPV monitor or headset can make for some amazing FPV experience, for as cheap as it gets. I recommend this build for anyone looking to get into racing, but who's still testing the waters. You can also mount a small profile camera like a Mobius or any other keychain camera you want, so you won't need to mount the bigger landing legs 
and only use the ones incorporated under the motors. The 7.4V battery has 1800 mAh and is big enough to stay quite some time in the air. According to the manufacturer it can reach up to 18 or 20 minutes of flight with ideal conditions and somewhere around 14 if there's a GoPro attached. But from personal experience these numbers are a little lower, ranging from somewhere around 12 minutes when fully used to up to 17 minutes when hovering around with no camera. The battery comes with an XT30 connector that provides safe linking to the drone, especially since it doesn't come with an on and off button and you need to take the battery out every single time. There's no wow factor when it comes to the controller and I'd say it looks pretty boring, but even so it does its job well and you can fly the drone up to 200 meters or so. Four AA batteries are required for the transmitter to work and the thumbsticks need to be installed with two screws. Having a look at the buttons from left to right, we have the only red button on the top left that starts and stops the drone motors and underneath it, there's a button to change between the two flying modes. After you press it, you'll hear either one beep for camera mode, where the drone will fly slower, or two beeps for sport mode, which is self-explanatory. The left stick handles the throttle and yaw, and the right one is for pinch and roll, as usual. The button underneath the stick can be used to trim the yaw of the aircraft, as do the other two on the right for pitch and roll trimming. However, this button is used exclusively for calibrating the remote. The calibration is not necessary, but it can be useful if the transmitter doesn't work properly. First you need to turn on the remote controller, push the calibration button and hold it for 3 seconds until you hear 3 beeps, then the light will start flashing. After that, rotate both the left and right sticks like this, for 2 full cycles, then again push up the calibration button and hold for 3 seconds. More instructions can be found in the very useful manual it comes with, which I strongly recommend you read. For the remaining buttons, we have the flip button on top and the camera button below it. First press the flip button and then move the right stick to any direction and the drone will follow. The camera button can be used only if you get a camera accessory from MJX. If you have a GoPro, you'll need to start it on the ground first and only then mount it to the drone. A really nice thing about this controller is that you get a telemetry warning on the transmitter when it goes out.